Hi, my name is Becky. Today I'm going to show you how to update your SDK databases when you're not connected to the internet. It's important to have this up-to-date information so we have the accurate orbits for all of the satellites, um, as well as the updates for the Earth orientation parameters and space weather as things may change that may affect your satellites. Things such as leap seconds and other files are only needed to be updated on an as-needed basis. In STK, there is a utilities menu. And for those folks that are connected to the internet, traditionally, they would go to the data update utility and they could select the items they want to download and update through the internet connection. When you don't have the luxury of the internet connection, there are a couple of different ways that you can get this data into STK. There is, you'll still have to do a sneaker net to get this information in, but we've made it easy for you to do so. If you go to our website and go to our FAQ area, there is going to be a knowledge article that tells you how to update your SDK databases. The easiest way to do that is to download it in a single compressed file via our FTP server. And what we've done is created a link that you can then click on. And as you do that, it actually will download that information for you in a zip file. So that will allow somebody who's not connected to the internet to go then copy that to a disk, unzip the data and bring that into SDK. And they're able to update the databases much the same as we could with an internet connection. Once that's done, we can open the location of that file. So if we go to the downloads folder where that has recently been downloaded, and go into the file, you'll notice that we have a couple of different things that show up in here. The databases, dynamic earth data, GPS almanacs, help, SDK data. This is the information that gets downloaded in that zip file. And there is one location in your C drive where this needs to be copied. If you go to your C drive and then go to program data, which is a hidden file, AGI, STK 1164. This is where that data resides. So this is where you could go in and copy that information for your databases, your dynamic earth data, GPS almanacs. All the satellites will then be updated and you could do this once a day or, or as frequently as you need that information and sneaker net that in whenever you need it. Thanks for watching.